since uh, release 14, so I really don't have too much input on that. I do know that uh, explosion potions, those those might be useful. Now, for for those, disrupting at least. For those who don't know our Easter present, those orbs were actually explosion potions in disguise. Ah, I still have mine. So for those who did not yeah, know that, uh, that's what an explosion potion does. Rescanned explosion potions, that's yes. all those were. <laughs> oh, here I thought I had something special. Well, it is. The, the orb in itself, because it has the name and the item itself, is physically special. Even though it's just a modified explosion potion. It has a name, it has a title, and it is an, a physical item in the game. Well, if any of the developers are listening, I think they should make the uh, heal potions do more. Well, also, the, the amount of time that it takes to drink a potion right now, I think, is a little bit long. Can it be disrupted? Uh, I don't believe it can be disruptive. Uh, I hear uh, people talking about uh, TeamSpeak information. Who are they talking about? Uh, NBNN. I just yelled out to everybody that I was in the TeamSpeak, and everybody should come and visit. So hey, the more I the merrier. I, I, I think I've got like one person masking, so... Net won't come on TeamSpeak. I think he has a heavy accent. Heavy accents are perfectly acceptable. Well, uh, I think so me. too, but apparently it bothers some folks that they don't speak English as clearly as they write and read it. Oh, is that Ian Smelios who's over there? That is Ian. He's one of my guildies. Ian's uh, another really favorite cool of ours. Guy. Yes, yeah, he is. He follows us. He I love you. He shout out to Ian. All of my Twitch channels. He's yes, funny. he's been a follower oh, yeah. and supporter for quite some time. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. I'm gonna take a moment. I'll be right back. Alrighty. If now, Ned would actually this? join us in, in uh, Teamspeak, we could actually talk about that. Yeah, well, you know, they're always late comers to the game. Um, this may be Nets coming out party, and realize, when he realizes, when he sees what he's missing here, um, we're bringing the game to a whole new level. <laughs> okay, so when I was actually in uh, the Portalarium offices uh, two weeks ago, um, when I took Lord British out to dinner, um, <laughs> ooh, they are plugs. actually working on implementing in-game localized chat. Localized voice, chat. voice they're looking into as well. Ooh, wow. I yeah, know how they're, that work? they're currently looking at using a mumble of some sort, so since it is in free and open source, oh. and implementing that into the game. Oh, I never used my ball. So I, I don't know if it's going to be purely local or whether or not it is going to be party chat. Very interesting. But it is something that they are right. looking to is embedding voice chat into the game. Now, Jack, did you invite Abby Dose earlier to come chat? Yes, I did. Um, he said that he was occupied at the moment, I, but that could have always changed. Oh, let me and this is what again. I get for actually living in Austin. I can actually run down to the Portalarium offices and say hi. Abydos? Abydos, yes. Abydos in his PvP town, which we hope that he meets his ultimate goal in the next 29 hours of getting the PvP Metropolis. Currently, he's at a, a hamlet. I'm trying to get a nice shot of him here again. I know another. Abby Dos, here you are again, one more time. If you're, uh, you're watching, yeah, actually, he is about $150 away from having the Hamlet. He's actually at the hold fast level right now. Okay. Um. 
I know another fellow who's uh, also going to be doing um, a big PvP town. I think a metro. Really? Yeah, but I think he uh, he also donated t to Abydos because, you know, there's uh, definitely room for more than one. And, I mean, if we want to have town versus town kind of activity, then you're going to need more than one PvP town. That would be fun. Uh, I think the more PvP towns, the better for the game. I, I know it Definitely. will facilitate some of the uh, PvP that is done, and hopefully we won't get everybody just gusting their way to victory. <laughs> and if we're not pissing off the non-PvPers, all the better. And hi, Luca. Hello. Hi, Luca. Hi, Luca. I, I, I must say that your guild name is one of my personal favorites, the Order <laughs> of Drunken Elders. Oh, right. That's an That's awesome not... one. Uh, I can't take credit for it, but I love it, too. Oh, welcome, Luca. You're live on MBNN. I'm staring at you from above, so... Yeah, I don't think my video is going to load. It's trying to. Okay, I think Materio is watching the stream from somewhere. He just actually asked me the question, did they expand on voice other than working on it? Yes, I'm chatting okay, with so him here. He wanted to know Chris who was talking is about it. working on playing around with using Mumble in game. So we might see something R19, R20, but it's... And if you notice, it has not been discussed in Dev Plus or anything else, so this is ultra secret information. I never said any. Shh. Yeah, it's something they're just thinking about and tossing around, but if they can bring it to reality, we would love it. We're live we on air. It's not secret anymore. No, well, this, uh, is, yeah, yeah, I know. this is something that's been discussed. If they were able to if pull it off, would this be the first major uh, game of this type to have that feature? Um, no, it's not. I, no, I remember yeah. Dungeons and Dragons Online actually had a, a Game Spy, I think is what they used for. Yeah, the we party were talking chat. about the other day. It was Game Spy, right? Yeah, I think it was Game Spy before Game Spy went out of business. So you can see it didn't do too well for them. But was the game yeah. itself this awesome? Yeah, so, I mean, as long as it. I mean, it's, it's going to be. A fun investment, and it really will make it better. I know Finn Staber is also working on virtual reality for the game as well. That's that's crazy. All right, and uh, Sophie and Luca, I just got you permissions. Like I said, this room here. Anybody who pops into our team speak can just come right down to this room. No permissions required. You can come down and say hello to us. Oh, yes, nice. Material, please come join us in TeamSpeak. Yes, oh, Matt, yeah. as we would love to have you. you even for a few minutes uh, just to chat, say hello, and, uh, of course, plug your app for the uh, Shroudity Avatar. I may be a tester of your app, but I am not the best. Is, uh, we, are, we are not afraid of shameless plugs for people around here. That's what we're here for. You want, you want your stuff out there, come see us, and we will get it talked about. We will get it on the air. We will get it rebroadcast. We will get it tweeted. We will get the news to the world. Excellent. And just as a reminder, currently we actually have four different people in this TeamSpeak that are streaming. Uh, I am streaming on Cynicist. Uh, Lazarus is streaming on NBN Info. And Bambino is streaming on Bambino Ludivate. And then I think, Cohen, are you still streaming? Uh, no, I had to stop because I actually wanted to grab some food and I didn't start it up again <laughs> because I got carried I away got carried with away. playing. Uh, okay. Oh, and <laughs> Materio says that he's programming something special. So maybe he's going to be streaming. Maybe he's going to be building into the Shroud of the Avatar Can app the very special NBN in info channel. And we That's have what he's going to be doing. River Viewshop. 
Murphy just joined us. And Abydos has just joined us. My goodness, yeah, we are up, getting man? a community party going on here. Hello. Party time. Hello, Abydos and Hive River. Now, you're in, Abydos, you're talking you in the wrong the, room there, River. The final 29 hours <laughs> for your PvP town. Mm, I'm basically French, man. I can't speak well in English, so. Uh, Don't worry. Can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Just can say. Uh, oh, we have a new back backer. Just now, Brendan Cotton. It's been good. I uh, have the project to create a big city for PvP. We've got a lot of good uh, player like uh, Spada, uh, Izahe, Flips, uh, me, and a couple of Guildy. Uh, and everybody is welcome to come uh, live in the city. Well, that's why we wanted you to come on and tell, tell us some of this yourself. Uh, you know, we know that we have an international community and not everybody is going to speak proper, perfect English, but that's okay. That's what this community is all about. And we, we want the community to know that, you know, if you've got information like, you, you know, and as you know, we're, we're supporting you all the way here. We're going to be pushing as much as we can to get people to come Hit that next pledge level, even if you don't make the metropolis there, Abydos. Ah, oh, really? Thanks, man. It's very, 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 very appreciated. Abydos. Uh, yeah. So, if someone wanted to donate money, how do they do it? I uh, should go on Kickstarter. Just write PVP Sota, and you will find the campaign easily. Correct. Okay. Do a search for uh, PVV so, Soda Metropolis is the three key words, and it'll come right up for you. Yeah. So do you understand my index yet? Yeah? You're doing just fine. That's how the end. You're doing fine. Doing fine. Okay, good, I'll let good, you in on a little secret. No one speaks perfect English because perfect English does not exist. Not in this ah, world anymore. Let's look for the self-esteem. And I've got Ian Smelios in chat on NBN News. Hi, Ian. And you are actually one hundred dollars from your PVP Hamlet. Currently have thirty-seven backers. Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, that's yes. exciting! One one hundred dollar in Canadian dollar. Just around eighteen um, US. It's really, really good, and uh, we had a lot of support of the, this amazing community. That was uh, uh, I know. a fantastic adventure. I was going to say, I know one of the very first backers was Chris Spears from Portalarium. Yes, the first backer was, was Chris Spears, yeah. And I think the third was uh, Richard himself. Nice. Right, that, very that good. That is awesome. And oh, I'm glad awesome. that, that even is the awesome. developers feel that we need more variety in our towns. Yes. Ah, uh, this is really great. Now, what I'm doing here on the screen, it's hard to get it spaced. Let me see if I can get it spaced right. I think Ian really should join us in a team speak before he leaves. Well, I have Ian in chat here. Let me see if he'll join us. I, and I think Ian spends enough time watching our chat that he can pretty much tell us everything there is to say. I just asked him that. He did say that he was going to go watch a movie, but... Let's see if we can persuade him to stay out and hang out for a little bit. Okay, so what I've got on screen right now behind me is the NN, NBNN live page, and you'll see that we have multiple streams on the page. You'll see the Mad Hermit here. You'll see the NBNN stream. You'll see Jack Frost. You'll see the Bambino. Uh, Beetle Bear. Beetle Bear is streaming right now. Now, are all of you using um, 